So the inspiration behind Disco Junkie was just a return to the dance floor, you know, like during COVID, the space was so missed. We didn't have that, that place to go and just be ourselves and, you know, release. And so funny enough, when I was riding Disco Junkie, I, it was very, very, it wasn't that long ago. It was like in January. And it was kind of this thing of like, I just want to get back on the dance floor. I want to go out to the club. I want to be with my friends. And so I wrote Disco Junkie and then I brought it to my friend Viscos and we just made this dance anthem that would just be shared on the dance floor that we saw that would be on a dance floor. And then it, it just happened. And then when we finished the song, I was like, okay, well, we have to film a video on the George <laughs> because where else could you film a video for this song? So that, that's kind of how it came out. It's just about reclaiming the dance floor, getting back to it and forgetting the past few years you know, happen. Why not? No, I knew, I knew when I was coming up, I'm very visual with things and so I knew when we were doing the video, it had to be in a club and it, it couldn't be like a fake club, it had to be really authentic. And I knew the only place we could film it would be the George because anywhere else you'd go, it wouldn't be accepting and it wouldn't, it would just be like, oh, a camera, oh. But you bring to the George and everyone's like, ah, let me in there. There's a camera, let me in there, you know? So um, yeah, and, and we, we just had such a good time and everyone there was just so lovely and just wanted to get involved. Like the amount of people I met that night that were like, you know, oh my God, what are we filming? And then we're following us like, okay guys, where are we filming next, you know? So it, 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 it couldn't have been anywhere but the George. Ridiculous, oh my goodness. Like when we were filming it, we had the dance floor. It was like 4 p.m. in the day and people were just in for like their quiet points and the director Louis was like <laughs> he was like we have the stage in the George get on that stage and dance and I was like I, ca I can't do that like no it's like these people are just having a quiet point like Charlie is playing no and he's like we have the stage in the George and I did and as it was on there and I was I was I was dancing and I mean they all loved it the people who were having their, like, their casual points they loved it but I was like how ridiculous would this be to just so many people here and then for Veda to be like do you want to come perform the song uh, ridiculous so like and my mom's coming tonight it's, it's a pretty big deal for me to be honest it's a huge deal so the opening EP Freak Show Symphony is out May 20th and um, and it's kind of it's, it's, it's exactly what it is it actually the name of the EP came from the song Disco Junkie because there's a lyric in Disco Junkie where I say um, broken lovers dancing free we're the freak show symphony and I imagine being in a club being the freak the DJ being like the conductor of this orchestra and then we are all on the dance floor and we're like the, the, the instrumentalists of this of the symphony and then just writing songs for all the people who feel like you know they feel like they're a freak I feel like a freak all the time and that's what I wanted to do and that's, and that's exactly what the EP is about You can find me! Uh, I'm playing Indie Fest, I'm playing C Sessions, I'm playing Soft Nights, um, hopefully more to be announced. But you can follow me everywhere at Who is Pastiche on Instagram. Um, and I'm playing a fabulous gig in the Grand Social on May 25th. You've got your tickets.